Think of it as an internal paramedic. In an emergency, the ICD detects the problem and shocks your heart right away to get it beating again. Valuable time is saved, and in many cases, so is your life. ICD implantation is lower risk than many other kinds of surgery. There is no cutting in or near your heart, and usually only takes a few hours. You will receive medicine to numb your pain and relax your nerves. An ICD is smaller than a deck of cards with a series of censored wires that monitor your heart's rhythm. Your surgeon will make a small cut under your collarbone and insert a thin tube into a vein that goes to your heart. Then insert the wires and guide them through to your heart. A small pocket is made for the defibrillator. It is attached to the wires and placed in the pocket. Once x-rays confirm everything is in the correct position, the cut will then be closed and your surgery is done. After surgery, you may experience swelling, bleeding, bruising, infection, blood vessel or nerve damage, or a reaction to the sedatives. Serious problems are rare, but can include a collapsed lung or bleeding around the heart. Patients normally stay in the hospital overnight for monitoring. You will be sore after surgery, and you'll need to avoid strenuous physical activities for about three to six weeks until you're fully recovered. Afterward, you need to make some lifestyle changes. You'll have metal in your chest, so you'll set off metal detectors at airports and other secure areas. Let security know before you walk through. High frequencies disrupt ICDs, so keep your cell phone at least six inches away from your ICD and stay six inches away from a microwave when in use. Always let doctors, dentists, and medical technicians know you have an ICD before x-rays, MRIs, or other procedures. ICDs sometimes give unneeded shocks due to a damaged wire or a rapid heartbeat caused by exercise or stress. You may feel this shock, and it can hurt. If this happens, notify your doctor, as a damaged lead should be replaced. ICD batteries last five to 10 years and require a short procedure to replace. But to be safe, it's important to have your ICD checked every three to six months. You need to help your doctors by coming back regularly. Now, let's recap the three key takeaways you need to remember about ICDs. One, arrhythmias are irregular heartbeats that can cause your heart to lose its rhythm and stop beating. Two, ICDs are implanted to prevent sudden cardiac arrest by shocking your heart back into rhythm. Three, having an ICD requires changes like staying six inches away from cell phones and microwaves and visiting your doctor every three to six months. Take these three points to heart and take action for your health.